Okay, so here is the default page you'll see when you get to the um, photo. Now I have already loaded some of uh, my family photos here. Now the first thing is the default selected item here is the design we want to switch to collage. And now you can see that on the left hand side we have a few more choices. So these are the collage templates we can choose. Um, the, these numbers are how many photos the templates have. Two photos, three photos, all the way to um, eight or seven photos. Now, this item represents the paid version, so you can only use them uh, when you pay for the membership. As you can see, when I select it on the left, the right hand side, you see this um, watermark here. Now, these are all you know, really nice options, but one thing I really like about photo is the templates here, which is the funky ones. Nope, let's move on. So the funky ones are really the most creative ones. Here is a heart shape. So let's you know, we can we can drag one here, one photo in here just to to see. This photo was um, Mia last Christmas. We went to the port just to see the boats coming. Here's one option: is that you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. Another thing uh, on the toolbar is the image effects. So you can actually choose um, different image effects you can apply. So this is actually quite important tool once you have all the photos in place and you want to make them look similar. You know, so I can choose click on this one to change it to a um, more you know black and white ish filling photo. Now let's go back to the templates. Um, you can switch between different templates and the photo will automatically um, try to pre-fill the photos for you. So this was another one. Mia was um, hiding behind all the... when I was uh, when I went uh, shopping for a new pair of pants. Um, before we... Um, so that's pretty much what's in the photo app. Before we leave though, I want to show you one more thing, which is um, here, the sizes. So by default, these templates are uh, square ones, but if you want to and they you don't have the choice to choose between square and rectangle. Now let's go back to here. I don't want to save it. Let's go back here. So if for example you want to print your collage in a square shape, here is how you do it. You click this lock button icon to unlock it and then here you can enter the sizes so for happy moves the large uh, photo boards for example is okay if you apply this will automatically uh, set the design interface to the right size and also the proportion. So say if you want to change it to a landscape mode, you just um, switch between these two numbers, you click apply, and then it'll enter, go into the landscape mode. So that's uh, quite handy as you see different, you know, just playing with different options. So let's just drag and drop a few things. before I show you the other options.
Okay, so another quite interesting choice is the border width. So this one, as you slide up, you'll see that the border between photos are getting um, bigger and bigger. You can also like you know use this tool, this drag and drop tool, to change the size. Um, now the border width is important when the visual feel of uh, of the photos are quite different. But here, let's just take it back. The default one is 10. That's fine. Another choice here are textures. So basically, instead of the white, you can choose between different, oh, that's yucky, different um, colors and textures. So this one might be actually quite good. The, so that's about it, really. Now the last thing is how you export it. So you click here to export. The one thing to pay attention to is the quality here. And you want the highest quality? Okay, the file will be slightly bigger, but it's well worth it. And here, so you can save to my computer. For some reason, I couldn't get the save to my computer work. But here's one thing. You can click download it. It'll actually you know, pop up a, a dialog box, and you can save the file to your local disk. And that's about it. That's, um, you know, it can be quite intimidating uh, when you get you uh, first started with the photo, but as you starting to play with it, you'll get to know it better and uh, it'll soon become very comfortable to use and it's a, certainly a great tool and uh, we love it. I hope you enjoy this tool as well. Okay, bye-bye.